They don't have a lot of men, that's what I was saying. They only have 13 men. It's kind of annoying. I, I need more men. Uh, and I could drop in an anti-tank crew, but what's the point? I have two tanks now, which will eventually become heavily vetted, and an armoured car, so... It would be nice to get that uh, beyond the doctrine, which uh, means that light armour can take points. That would be very useful, but obviously I'm not on that doctrine, which is a shame. So I'll move in, take this point, uh, move up all my armour, except for this tank, which is getting repaired. It's nearly there, it's about two-thirds. Probably take the rest of the battle to repair it, because it is Vet 3, so it has more health, and it takes longer to repair. So let's see what we got over here. There's the AA up here, uh, which is no problem. There's the Panzer. Okay. So we're going to do some preliminary damage, and then we're going to move back with this guy, because there's no way he's going to be able to kill this Panzer IV, um, because he's not vetted at all. He may get lucky, but I don't want to rely on luck, basically. I want to rely on good planning and tactics. I mean, my tactics so far haven't been great. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get into a position to shoot that tower as well, but it's okay. So I'm going to move these guys in, fire them up. Strafing run, taking out some of the men, and also pinning some of them, which is very useful. Uh, we are actually taking out this Panzer IV, which is nice, and now with the airborne, we have easily taken it out. So that means this tank basically has free range at the moment. It can attack those vaults grenadiers and also those machine gunners, so that's what I'm going to make it do. This guy is nearly repaired, so I'm going to move him up. And I'm going to use these engineers to repair uh, these two. Just in case I need them later on, I probably won't. But you never know. I think that's a good catchphrase for this game. You never know, so be prepared for absolutely anything. So both my tanks are here. And I didn't tell you to attack that. It must have been a bit of a miss shot. Enemy unit down. So there goes that. We just move up here. What a very horrible thing to say. They might surrender. Wouldn't that be nice? No, of course it wouldn't. Because you want everybody dead, don't you? God. Did I lose that one guy? Oh no, he's still there. Good old Jim. There's Jim. Jim with the STG. That'll be his name from now on. Hello. Look at him. He doesn't even know if he's American or German. Maybe he's a double spy. Ooh. Controversy. Right, we're going to move into this area, which is basically behind the uh, rockets. But I want to take out everything first, uh, because obviously it'll just be much easier for a cleanup. I'm going to guess there's quite a lot of heavy resistance here with these two towers. And also this AA gun. But against Shermans, I don't think it will prove that much. Uh, if this guy gets his arson gear and gets around. These guys are nearly done with that. Let's just move up my infantry to support them, just in case any infantry come. And also, I'll get my other tank in here. Uh, just to lay down some covering fire for my tanks. It's very annoying when the gunner gets taken out. But, you know, it's not the end of the world, so... There's not, I, I don't see a problem with that. So there's another guard tower destroyed. I'm going to move in my tanks. See if we can spot anything apart from that flak. There is a Panzer IV in an ambush spot and also an AT gun. Strafing run. Might be a good idea here. Hopefully that hits. Uh, depends where he comes in from. Enemy unit Lovely. Down. Oh, that was a wunderbar. That was beautiful. Took out the AT and also took out that. This Panzer IV is getting shot and doesn't realize it, so that's really good. Might be a bit of an AI glitch, or it's just waiting for that, basically for this Sherman to walk down this ramp. And it's not going to, because it is clever. Let's just finish him off. Oh, he has realized he's getting shot at. Finally. Uh, but we have taken out its main gun, so it's basically destroyed now. And now it is absolutely kaput. I want to get this bomber run, uh, but it might. It looks like the mission is winding down, so we might not get there uh, in time. Just move in the two Shermans to take fire from these Volksgrenadiers and also this MG. 
while my I move my troops in to take this point. Basically, the armor will soak up the damage while the infantry take the points, because obviously my uh, inf my armor can't take the points, which is a shame, but, you know, you live with what you get dealt with. So we've taken out the guard's tower, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, I might just leave this point, to be honest. There's not really much point in going after it. I don't want to lose any more men to these AA. So I might just move down this ramp and see what's going on. Oh, we're getting attacked from the back. And no! No, Jim is dead. Jim has died and everybody's getting sniped. Is there a sniper? Yes, there is. Right. Move up. <laughs> Needs to take out that sniper. And how did they get in? Ah, oh, we can flank them from both sides here. This must be the reinforcing army. And aren't they just a bunch of assholes? There we go. Good clean up there. It was a bit of a shame. We lost quite quite a few good men there. That was definitely a shame. <clears throat> Sorry about that again. I've got a I've still got a bit of a cough, so oh, this bloody sniper. Yeah, I have a strafing run. <laughs> that I think that'll do. I don't know what happened there. Hopefully that takes him out, by the way. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, bit of bit of overkill. Uh, just, 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 just a tidge. You know, just a, just a little bit. But, you know, um, it helps. Every little helps. Especially against snipers. Snipers are very effective in this game, so... Let's see, what needs uh, healing? I want to bring my tanks just up to here. Uh, who has the most health? The four guys right now. Oh. There's a few Volkses up there, but my M8, is it the M8? I think it is. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to sort it out. Yes, the M8 armored car. So he sorts that out. I'm going to plant this demo. And basically these guys are just going to support. So If anything comes, we'll be ready. Oh no, Jim is still alive. It must have been someone else. Well done, Jim. You're alive. We'll give you some friends. So I don't want to lose that STG. And while that's happening, we'll just use this one engineer to um, repair this tank. So obviously I don't, I don't want to lose my tanks. My tanks have done very well so far. How are you? How are you guys doing? Oh, the frame rate. Why does this happen? Right. Um, it's stabilizing. Stay stabilizing. No. Nope. Right. Okay. I'll be back in a second. And we're back. I don't know what happened once again. I will figure out what that problem is. It is bloody annoying. But I'm going to move these guys back and just detonate this as quick as possible to get rid of this launch pad. For obvious reasons, I don't want them launching any more rockets. There we go. Oh, God. Whoa. And the lag is back. <sighs> well, <laughs> that was a bit of an anticlimax because of the stupid lag. Silly fraps, I'll see what the problem is. Um, but anyway, we completed that mission. We have we got the air medal for killing the commandant, so that's really good. And I will see you next time on the next mission of the Invasion of Normandy campaign. So, thank you for watching, and have a great day.